From the rink to the streets, roller skating is embedded in Atlanta's culture, helping generations of black families come together. Yeah, Karis Belger is taking us for a ride inside of this community as part of our Black History Month series. And it's a place where um, we can get together, we can be in community. Lena campbell -Lynn has only been skating for three years, but she says being on eight wheels felt natural. I already had some skates in my closet that I had bought, and then I joined this like little group that got together every Thursday, about 15 people. In 2021, she started her own skate group, and now twice a month, they take time to roll together. Oftentimes we would get in circles and just dance, and that would be how we created community. That's how we did healing. That feeling of community goes back to skating's origins in America in the 1800s, when it was a leisure activity for the wealthy. So initially, again, it's wealthy people. What I think a lot of people don't realize is that there were wealthy black people. We've been skating as long as skating's been around. Its popularity among black Americans continued to grow over the decades. You also had fairly quickly Pemberton start to do things like market the idea of a roller skating rink and to sell his skates. And in Atlanta, rinks today carry on the community culture. Cascade is one of the most popular roller skating rinks on the planet. It's, it's my baby. Greg Alexander didn't set out to create an Atlanta stable when he opened Cascade. What a lot of people don't understand about roller skaters is that it's generational. But since opening in the 1990s, Cascade has turned into a hot spot, featured in films and music videos. Usher uh, skates here most times he's in town. A place where anyone can meet up and keep the culture going. In Atlanta, Karis Belger, 11 Alive News.